Hi gigs, I hope you enjoyed the DLC until now. As you know, I'm too late for this kind of videos, but I'm here with the full guide on the, each region of the Realm of Shadow. The second region we will go through to explore is a Skadus Altus, which can be reached after you defeat the Twin Moon in the Castle Ensis, and when you go from the back door of it, you reach to this region. I hope you find this video useful and it will help you to find all items in this region. So if you it can help you in any way, please subscribe to my channel and leave some likes and comment for me. And if you find any problem in this video, please tell me in the comment section because as I say you in the last in my last video, I want to be better and my only way is your guides. So let's see what we can find in this region. As soon as you enter the region, go move toward until you see some site of grace. Fragment and also two NPCs tag with both of them for quest line. After that, active the side of grace, pick up that gesture, and speak with other NPC. Continue your way toward that fire giant you see at the end of the road. Also, you need to kill this simple black knight, and maybe you find some his armors after that beneath this statue you can find the map of this region after that go back to site of grace and continue your way to the the canyon in the east and also you will see some big enemy jump above this small island and on the top you can see a tower with the portal near it activate with the sword key you fight inside the NC's castle after activate it, go inside it until it teleports you to the other region. Here you need to fight with this divine bird enemy which will give you complete set of armor anytime you defeat him. It depends on your chains and items you use to give you more arcane. After that go to the end of the road and near this statue you can find this talisman. After that go back to the site of grace I will show you earlier and go inside the canyon and this time don't go to anywhere just continue your way to the end of the river and see a waterfall when you reach there go to the right hand then jump again on inside the castle ensis and at the end of the rooftop you will find the chest and some item inside it Again, go back to this site of grace and continue your way to the other side of the canyon. And remember to don't fall down because if you fall here, you need to fight with this headless giant down there with the sword, which will come from the main game. When you reach to this site of grace, you need to go all the way down from by using some jumps and sail lives from this wooden stuff try to jump down to the other zone then go left again jump down and from the right side do another jump until you reach to the first tower of the fogry fort then go down kill these enemies before they roar because it can make them very strong go inside this small tower kill both of this enemy Exit the tower and kill this enemy here behind this portal. And after that, kill other two enemy on this wooden bridge. Remember, don't fall down. After that, go to the other side of it and pick up this cookbook. Go back to you fight with the enemy from that. Go to the other side of bridge. And here you will face this special name Black Knight, which will give you his shield after you defeat him he is like a simple one but use a line of to bring you toward him after that go to the left hand of this building where you fight him and remember to don't fall down because it will kill you go above the tower using the stairs and then ladder when you reach to the top of the first floor use the ladder in your left hand and again go to the top of the tower find the chest and inside it you can see a talisman after that go all the way back to where you fight with this black knight and this time go to other hand and jump down inside the canyon kill the, all the enemies in your way until you reach end of it and find the chest 
just remember don't get stuck with the fire throw enemy after that again go back to the site of grace and go to your right hand where you will see tree tent and you will find some statue at the middle of it which will have a fragment use your host to reach there faster and after you pick it up it go to other side of the camp and move your way to the sound where you can find this road ruined fort and here be worried about these flying man enemies which will attack you in the group of 10 enemy when you reach to this square building use your horse and go inside it until you reach the first floor and see some ladder and, and lever behind it you will see a dead body with the spear behind it after that go to the other room when you go from this smutting enemy and some milk enemy you will see another dead body at the end of this room and then use the lever to can go behind the second lock door and in this room at the near the waterfall you can see a dead body pick an item near it then go back to the entrance to the third room use this lever to bring up the door and stay on top of it until you reach to the second floor at the end, the end you will see an anvil which will give you two items when you interact with it go outside this ruined fort and go all the way to the north or northwest near northwest it ten degrees i think and when you reach here you will find some harmless enemy which you really cannot see because i finished the game you should do it before i don't want to spoil it so forget it go to where i post place the marker outside the building you will see this enemy kill him and it will give you an ash up for after it's blow up then go to north east and here you will see uh, the ghost flame dragon which will fight with some small enemies summon your mimic tier and kill all those small enemy before you go for dragon when you kill him he will give you two very special items which you can change with some other items dragon heart after that go to sound west of the ruin building and here you can see a enemy point to the sky which will have crossbow then go under the bridge, and here you can find some grace of sight of grace and go to the back of the castle fort and you can find blaze of miracle go inside the fort and go to left hand jump inside this hole and here you find this special enemy dual building it will give you a special item then go to corner of the room to pick up another items and after that go exit the tunnel from the right hand and you will find a catacomb with some ash go inside the fort from the door you fight at the end of the yard go all the way until you see some enemies and some other caves use a jump to reach at the end of it and pick up this item inside this chest go where you see the first enemy and in your left hand on the stairs you can go until you reach this boss another black knight it will give you a long named ash of war then go this stairs to the upper level and use the ladder to reach to the rooftop at, at the corner you will see a tower which can you reach to its top by using another ladder and here inside the chest you will find another cookbook then go to location i show you and here you need to destroy it in a stone and some bad enemy after that go a little to the west and you will see this spring spirit then use it to reach to the other level and also you will see the grain flame something from the past because i edit my video then go to the above the cliff where you can see a cloth uh, cross and another side of grace then go back to first side of grace in this area then go to more trends in the sound east and find some site of grace and also an npc try to do the gesture you found earlier make the best wins and to go to other world defeat him and when you come back from his world he will provide you with some items then go to the middle of the ruins and also you can find the whole 
and some crushed building speak with this ghost after that go outside the wall and turn left here you can find another testament but don't fall down now go outside the hole and go to the sound east of it until you see this big building with some clothes from it and back of this dry tree you can find a statue with some spring ash then go to the northwest of the hole just remember to don't fall down and don't let the shadow enemy throw his jar because he's can waste it after that go inside the hole and summon your horse to reach to the down level with the safety and go from the way i go to reduce from dying too many times when you reach the down level try to go to left hand and reach the very ground level safety inside this room with the light you can find this golden arc after that at the end of the tunnel you see a ladder come from the wall and if you go above it you will reach to the another side of grace from the bony village when you came out interact with this site of grace to make your way easier if you die inside the village when you reach inside it try to go a little forward until you see some special enemy don't fight it go to the right hand and pick up this hefty cracked pot and after that kill this named enemy and try to go end of this side of village and when you reach there try to go inside this structure and pick up this knife after that jump inside the crack and call your horse to reach end of it and see some statue and sub spread ash go to the other side of village and don't go other side of bridge try to kill all enemy and the third named enemy here and inside this structure you can find this hefty cracked pot after that try to go north of the village and to see some dry tree near the cliff and find a gesture then go sound of village and go other side of the sound bridge until you go inside this dungeon here use this jar first time attacked by enemy you can see it when you reach to the lower floor, try to kill these two enemy and inside the second room you find this item inside the tunnel when you go forward try to go left hand and fight these rats and when you go the ladder you can find a charm again go to right hand and that mentioned tunnel until you reach this bloody area and find this last ash of war when you reach the second jar as, as elevator jump on it but when it reaches down don't go and try to go upper lever and find another good looking armor and after that go above the stairs try to kill this enemy to find another good look shield after that go end of the dungeon and try to go other side of this golden mist and here you can fight this enemy and find his ashes after that go to the other side of village in the east until you reach this burned house and inside it you can find a weapon a whiplash and here another bridge and other side you can find another side of praise and if you go to the place i put my marker you will see another rolling enemy and if you kill him he will give you a shaft bar try to craft some hefty fire pot and go turn north until you see this fire giant use the sprint to reach above and try to throw this pot to kill this enemy because you cannot damage him and he will give you some talisman go north a little further and where you see some wolves try to kill these wolves and after that use your bow to destroy this pot and go pick it up item all it's sent down then go let her know to reach this ruined building and in the last room of it you can see an invisible bar if you destroy it you can see some stone and again destroy it go outside the ruins and use this spring to reach to the top of the tower and if you go a little further up you see a door and inside it you can find the chest and item inside it now go toward the shadow keep back door church door 
here you will see some harmless enemy friend and some cookbook go back to the ruins and all the way down from the side of the cliffs just don't fall down when you go down until you reach this cave and try use bow to bring down this enemy at the ceiling and here he will give you some ash of war go up near the chamber to its right hand you can see some puppets try to kill them and after kill all of them litter to the sound and here you can see a dead body with some other cookbook at the back door of the chamber you can see some remains grave which can duplicate any remain you have after that go inside the chamber i speak with the yomir to get some necklace and item and go back to the first site of grave site of grace in this area and go north in the down lake here at the lake of the statue you can find some item and inside the cave you see a golden tree and items go outside the cave in the other region in this poison swamp you can find this grave bird armor again go back to Side of grace and go north in the like i put my marker and try to kill this bird to find some helmet and near the mercurial structure you can find set of armor again go to the side of grace and this time to this church fight with this summoned enemy kill him easily and after that he will give you two items one ash of war and key and here you can find two fragments go outside of the church here i put my marker and you will find another harmless enemy with the cookbook and if you continue your way to do this big camp in front of the shadow keep you need to kill this fire giant and inside near the in entrance you can see fragment and lot of items here then continue your way to the sound east of the so sound west of the camp and kill this black knight to give his items again you need to go to the right hand of the camp and here you will see some flying enemies and if you bring them with the bow you will find another ash of war i killed him earlier then go inside the shadow keep and here kill the golden hippopotamus after that continue your way to your right and go all the way here try to don't fall down because you die beware about this bow enemy and when you reach here try to jump down from here and i hit by bow go all the way from these cliffs and beware to don't fall down in the water also we have a ladder on the other side if you reach here go inside it you will see another ladder go down don't try to fall because you will die you will see a painting at the end pick up that painting destroy this wall go all the way to the end until you see some grave go inside it to go to the lower river of this region go outside until you see this swamp and continue sound until you see this fire giant try to kill him and he will give you some talisman after that go to this location sound east of the ruin and here you can see a statue with some spring ash then go to north of the ruin and here you will find some ash of war near this dead body continue this selling and here you need to craft this item show you then try to throw it inside this fire giant to bring back him to life kill him and it will give you some other talisman after he did you find a door behind it it's a garden and at the end inside this chamber you will find another chest and inside it you will find an item and if you go outside you see altar and interact with it and if you have a sword it's required you can change it with the sword of darkness then continue all the way i show you in the map until you reach this site of grace behind the river it's a easy way when you reach here save the game to protect yourself from come all, come all this way go from the side of the cliffs be careful about it and here you can find a dry leaf seal after you finish the game you should come here to find these items and here 
be careful jump at the upper side of the river you need to go down level after this go all the way to the you reach to the first site of grace in this area and you will see a grave and inside it you can find a fragment go back to this site of grace i showed you earlier try use your bow to bring down this pot then go all the way to downside of the river where i show you earlier how to reach it you can find full set of armor after to finish the game also then here you see this bilberine go to other side of river from the where you find this armor set and at the end you will see this small boss fight go inside it nameless ruins i think and when you reach end of it you need to fight with the bloody knight and he will give you one of the best armor in the game after that again go back to site of grace and here we need to go to inside and village from the flying man enemy try to go all the way from near this cliff just remember you don't should fall down when you reach here turn right all the way one item can be found in the right hand other one can be found in the left hand here you will see some ash of war and my remain from my last death then jump down and if you continue your way you will find some spring ash near this statue and like always go back to this site of grace and this time use these grave sites to go down level just be careful to don't fall down because you will die with the one wrong move when you reach to the water level try to use other set of them and when you reach to the down level you are safe these enemies don't attack you go all the way until you see some small hippopotamus try to kill these enemies and each of them will give you one fragment one in this hand and if you go forward the forward i edit my video as i say i die too many times here and here you will see another hippopotamus and if you kill him he will give you another fragment after that we need to go inside one of the hardest catacomb in the game down go to sound east of this location here sound west and you will see some others grave come out of the wall try to go down from using them just be careful to don't fall too much when you reach to the bottom level go toward this catacomb this one is one of hardest ones so don't forget your flame in the first floor after the second set of stairs you go to the back door and use this lever to bring back the light then go to the other side of the room then jump down and here you will see a crack on this selling just be careful and inside this half floor you can see a chest open it and pick up the item inside it then go all the way down to reach another elevator try to activate it to reach to the second floor of this dungeon go all the way in the stairs and all the way to the end of the road and you will see a ladder and two column when you reach to the top use the lever and bring back the light jump down from this floor until the, where you find a ladder and you will see a crack on the wall and here inside this room you will find this enemy try to kill him because it can damage you a lot and at the end you will see another dead body with the full set of armor go all the way down until you see this big cannon be careful about it in its left hand you can see a door and inside you can find the lever use it to bring the light back and also bring this enemy to the ground level try to kill him and it will die and remain you one good items then jump down inside the back room you can find the chest and inside it you can find another ashes 
try to go up from the ladder and when you reach to the down of this dungeon go through this mess and try to this kill enemy and it will give you some special item just remember to active this site of grace because you need after go inside the shadow keeps and inside it little further you will see a big ladder in the sound border of it go all the way up try to kill all the enemy in this room then continue all the way to the right just be careful to don't fall down kill all the fire knight and you will see cracked on the wall try to use it to go another floor up it be, should be a 10th 7th floor or 10th floor i don't remember use this elevator to reach to the very top of the shadow keep continue all the way as you can see i go here try to don't use a, any wrong move because if you fall you will die but it's not too hard all these woods are too big and you can fight any enemy easily after you kill this enemy try to jump in these wells under your knee and after that you can use it to reach to the other side of it and also you will find some ashes here then use this ladder to go up you can deal with that night at the end of road or cannot then go toward this ladder you see go down and you also will find an elevator after that then go down and you kill this enemy inside here you will see the elevator i tell you earlier try to go down all the way and here you will see this wooden cliff try to go all the way and here you cannot open this door and use it to go down here you will find another side of graves and also back door off to shadow keep and you will use the Oh mother gesture uh, you found earlier on the bony village i tell you when you go through this mess you need to fight with the, another hard boss i think it's a seven from ten or eight because he fight all it, this boss fight on its poor and don't calm down don't forget to use mimic here it will take you a lot of time to kill it so don't get anger it will give you his remembrance and also you can find some side of grace here activate it, then go all the way through this gate and it's back door you need to kill this enemy on the wolf wolf rider it will give you legendary armor and it's inside this burn building you can find another talisman and if you continue your way to the north most north part of the map you will see this very big building and at its back door you can see a dig and five fragments it can help you a lot to boost your defense against any hit you receive in the realms of shadow then go back to this site of grace go toward this building pick up that fragment near it then do the oh mother gesture in front of it to open the secret door to the other area go outside then and remember to active the site of grace in your left hand here is a very beautiful area in this region try to kill both these three sentinel and each of them will defeat will give you blessing of marika and if you kill other one you will get another one then you need to go to this village here you the location of where you find can find this to mini bus fight and from this road you will reach to this special village very very beautiful you find a mirror earth tree here and if you go to its upper level near this lone building you can find it in the map you will see a dry tree try to go inside it and pick up this item after that go all the way to near this cliff and you need to jump down lot of way 
until you reach to other side of that building we go earlier be careful here to don't fall too much it's not too hard here just you need to be careful a little when you reach here don't miss up and as i say i try to lot of find try a lot to find another clip then i recognize i can jump on the roof then inside the balcony you will find some spirit ash you will give the first ash when you finish the yamir's quest line and when you jump down you will see another dead body and another bell ring you can use it to give some items go to other side of bridge where you fight with the second tree sentinel and if you go all the way through this hole you can see on the map easily you need to fight with this simple boss fight and when he's die he will give you another talisman another ash of war or i don't use the mage i don't remember it go to the downside after use the all the way i show you try to don't fall down because it will kill you easily when you reach here you need to kill some hands and at the back you will see a grave which can duplicate all the remembers you have from the enemies i always use the gods and lord remembrance from the end boss because i need to find all these swords and armor then go to toward this lonely fallen finger and here you will find another gesture it's not too useful then continue your way to where i post my marker you will see a lot of hands jump inside it and you will get attacked get ambushed but another very very super big hand try to kill him and after his die you will find another ash and it's the last item you can find in this region i hope you enjoy this video if you find this useful please subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave some comments and likes for me and also if you find it useful please share it with your friends have a good time geeks let's wait for my next video for another region